Right, so episode two of the Tesla Power Transporter build. Um, thank you, first of all, to everybody that's watched the first one and all the support and peop that people have been offering. Uh, we've had quite a few companies get in touch offering things that they think could help us along the way, which we do really appreciate, and uh, we're always looking for more help where we can. Um, Bill Stein obviously have been in touch. They were always happy to supply us with the suspension for this. Also, Forge have been in touch. Having that much power, it's going to need some big brakes. So Forge are happy to get involved with helping us out with brakes and also cooling pipes and stuff that we'll need along the way. Uh, Vision Tech Automotive have been in touch. They do a really cool, really helpful, well, thing that's going to be really helpful for us, uh, charging point that they use currently for electric hookups for camper vans, but that can be adapted to work with a charging point for the electric we'd like to put in here because we'll uh, get rid of the fuel flap like we've done on our other vans, or Steve at Paintworks will get rid of the fuel flap. Also, Miltech have been involved, uh, or in touch, sorry, they're going to sub look at potentially supplying us with a sound box. Um, the one thing I've noticed with electric vehicles is, and I've actually very nearly been run over by an electric vehicle because you just can't hear them, um, Miltech do like a really cool system that produces a sound, various different options of sound, so you can still hear the vehicle coming. So we're looking at potentially putting one of those in there. Still looking for plenty of other people to get involved where possible. So originally the plan was to try and keep this looking like a panel van. So shock people off the lights really, keep it looking commercial, uh, standard-ish paintwork, although in a colour and just surprise people. But that's evolved a bit now. We think we're going for a full-on race livery um, with all the logos of people that have supported us in the build. So Bill Stein logos and everybody else that's involved. So if you're interested in getting involved and want your logo on here and you think there's something that you can offer us, please do get in touch. What are we going to need, Mikey? We're going to need, we're going to need an energy drink company because we're going to be putting some late nights in, so we definitely, <laughs> we definitely need some energy drinks or coffee, caffeine. Um, wheels, 100%. We're going to need some decent wheels. Tyres, a tyre company, if anybody wants to get involved, that would be really helpful. Uh, seats. Going down the whole race route, we're going to need a roll cage and also um, some proper racing bucket seats and harnesses. Um, but yeah. Thank you to everybody that's been involved, uh, sorry, in touch already. The strip starts, we're going to get this thing weighed, take as much as we can off, get it weighed again, and um, see what we're left with. Today is the day that we completely destroy the VW warranty on this brand new van. So, um, first of all, we need to get the aircon degassed because the aircon, um, everything is in the way, and also it's mounted to the engine, so we need to get the aircon decast because you can't just let that stuff off into the air. Um, and then Mikey's going to start uh, the whole stripping process. Uh, first of all, we're going to get this thing on the scales. We've got some corner scales here, so we're going to weigh each corner and see how it sits and what weight it is exactly as it stands just right now. And then as we strip it, we'll get it back on the scales and work out what's left and how much it weighs so we can work out where we're going to put motors and try and get it as much as, as balanced as possible. So the first minor problem is it has a third of a tank of fuel on it. The guy from VW very kindly pointed out that he put some extra fuel in it for us when he dropped it off. So we'll need to get that out first. Mike will be well happy about that one. Right, so first weigh-in done. Uh, we've just dropped it on these four corner scales, so it'll give us an accurate indication of what each four corners weighs and also a total weight of the vehicle. So Mikey, what have we got? What's the total weight? So the total weight is 1790 kilo. That focus on that. Yeah, there we go. The front axle weight is 1155 kilo. The rear is 635 kilo. There's quite a lot more weight at the front compared to the rear. We're going to try even that out a bit, a bit more 50-50 weight distribution. That means it'll handle a bit better when we break these records. So that is now currently just exactly as we've received it. Quarter of a tank, third of a tank of fuel in, bulkhead still in, everything uh, as it was. So let's start stripping it, see how light we can make it. And the chap's coming soon to degas the aircon. Noisy dog. Not that that weighs anything. Does it? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's crack on.
day two uh, of the of the strip. So I messed up a little bit. I forgot to arrange the aircon degas guy. So um, on day one, Mikey got all this lot out. So what we got? What, what, what's been taken out so far? So everything so far has been underneath, behind the subframe really. So uh, exhaust system, all the under tray, spare wheel, spare wheel bracket, um, and fuel tank, a blue tank. Um, I think that's about it, to be honest with you. But because the uh, not degas and the aircon held us up a little bit engine wise, so um, we've just been pushing it in and out for for a day or so. And today, what's the plan? What are we plan, trying to get out today? Uh, engine out today. Uh, maybe a few bits inside. Bulkheads been mentioned. Um, but we're going to try to get as much of it off as we can by the end of today, tomorrow, um, fully stripped van, hopefully. There you go, could be a late night. Um, we'll film as much as we can along the way or any of the interesting bits. But um, yeah, hopefully we can get as much as we stripped can today. It's um, it's the Saturday today, so it's non-uniform day officially. Look, I I'm channeling my, channeling my inner Dan Chambers YouTube phenomenon um, to give us that power to get through. Oh, I didn't get the memo. I, I didn't pay my pound for non-school uniforms. So. Uh, so he's had to be in school uniform. But um, yeah, keep watching. Should be interesting. See if we drop an engine on our toe or something. But there we go. So far we have taken out uh, well, uh, started off with the front end, bumpers, um, grill, headlight, or bumper, not bumpers, um, headlight, slam panel, um, and then stuff like the crash bar, radiators came off, um, the aircon rad, rad charge cooler rad. Um, bonnets come off, uh, we needed to take that off due to it um, fouling on a few other things and it just makes it easier to get access. Um, a lot more, well, we stripped a few more bits once that was off, do cool, most of the coolant system, um, air box, and now it's just um, the little boring bits. It's nothing great to see, to be honest with you. Um, just removing all the wiring and various bits and pipes and stuff. Right, so the engine's out. That was easier than expected. I don't know, a lot, was it? A lot of plugs, a lot of sensors. <laughs> a lot, yeah. Right. Um, but the, the lifting of it wasn't too bad. It came out pretty, uh, pretty easily. So loads of room in there now. So much room for activities. Get all that space. Right, so it's all back together of sorts. So let's uh, turn the ignition on and see what happens. Over to Warner Lights. Yeah, just about everything to be expected. One thing we have noticed is it's gone back down a mile. It's now got 50 miles in it, not 51. Hey, there you go. Right, let's bring it down to the scales, to the weight pads. And plus, no total. Right, so here's the starting weight to the current weight. So we've lost 435 kilos in total. Uh, so off the front, we've lost, having to use a calculator, so didn't pay attention to school, 390 kilos off the front, which leaves 45 kilos off the back. Right, that's it then. That's getting dark now. So that's, that's the end of episode two. Um, as I said previously, if you can think of anybody that might be interested in getting involved in this build, tyre company, wheel company, um, energy drink company, definitely needed. Uh, please let them know that we're doing this. Um, we need your help now. We uh, we need a electronic transporter related number plate. So if you can head over to the DVLA website and there's plenty on there for like 250 quid and see if you can find us something that you think might be relevant to an e-transporter or an EV or a let trip t6.1 or e t6.1 uh, would be grateful help us try and pick, pick a plate for this uh, thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed episode two episode three starts soon with the laser scanning the guys are coming over to scan the other side of the vehicle so we can work out where everything's going to be mounted 
um yeah keep watching remember subscribe share it with anybody that might be interested make sure you click the little bell to know when we uh, upload a new video and uh, yeah as always thanks for watching